Hey guys, welcome to Leading Edge Martial Arts. Today is Friday, May 8th. This class is for the yellow through blue belts. We have some combinations for you, curriculum kicks. We're going to break into some break falling so that when you guys start to fall for our self-defenses, you guys don't get hurt. Falling is always a very important part of martial art training because eventually we'll learn to take you down to the ground. When you go to the ground, you want to make sure that you are falling correctly. Parents, practice the break falling. A lot of you parents are doing the attacks for your kids at home and I see a lot of parents falling kind of scares me when the parents fall. So make sure you partake in the break falling curriculum with your kids. Uh, Joshua Scott's going to take over here. Alrighty, my yellow through blue belts. Uh, before we get started with our combinations, I want you guys to pause this video. Once it's paused, I want you to go to our Leading Edge app, and I want you to take the time, go do our uh, warm-ups. Go do them all, nice and slow, stretch out, say hi to Sensei Panda, do your push-ups, do your crunches, then come back, click play, and we'll keep going. So, once you guys do your warm-ups, we're going to get straight into our combinations today. Combination number three for white to blue belts. We're going to be in our defensive stance. We're going to do yellow number three today. Yellow number three is a front leg round kick. Pick your knee up. Keep that foot on the same plane as your knee. Kick out. Rebend it and put it back down. Front punch. Back punch with a key eye. Again, turn the back foot. Point the knee. Kick. Put it back down. Front punch. Back punch with a key eye. Yellow belt looks just like this. Key eye. Yellow belts, do it about 20 times on each side. Orange belts, we're working orange number three. Orange number three is front punch, back punch. Back leg round kick, back leg round kick, back punch with Kia. Again, it's front punch, pivot back punch, back leg round kick, land forward, back leg round kick, land forward, back punch with Kia. Orange belts, make sure when you do this combination, you're not dropping your hands when you're throwing your round kicks. I don't want to see this. Not, no front punch, back punch, back leg round kick, back leg round kick, back punch key. I want to keep those hands up at my face the whole time. So orange belts. Looks just like this. Key. And then we shuffle back, maintaining our stance again about 20 times on each side. Green belts. Green number three is a front leg hook kick. Land, back leg front kick, spin, side kick, back punch with the key eye. We shuffle back, maintaining that stance. Again, front leg hook kick is just like a front leg side kick. Land forward, back leg front kick, turn, spin, side kick, back punch with the key eye. Looks just like this, green belts. Key eye, shuffle back, and about 20 times on each side. Lastly, my blue belts, we're going to do blue number three. Blue number three looks just like this. Front punch, back punch, back leg round kick, land, turn, tornado, spin back fist, back punch with the key eye. Again, one, two, Sensei CJ, right, he's making me laugh today, it's funny. Front punch, back punch, back leg round kick, turn, tornado, spin back fist, back punch with the key eye. Looks just like this. All right, so yellow to blue. Once we are done with that, take a little break, grab a quick drink of water, and we're going to get into our kicks. Our curriculum kicks today for the yellow belts is a front leg round kick. We're going to keep working on it. With your front leg round kick, make sure you turn the back foot. You're going to point your knee straight ahead, and you're going to kick with the instep or the top of the foot. Looks just like this, yellow belts. We're here. Turn the back foot, point the knee, kick, and put it back down. We're going to do about 20 times. If you have mom and dad at home, have them hold a piece of paper up, whatever it might be, a folder, not with your homework, any folder. Kick, have your brother or sister hold it. Do it about 20 times on each side. If not, just work on it in the mirror. Again, we're not worried about power. We're not worried about speed. We're just worried about techniques, so take it nice and slow. Orange belt, you're going to work on your spin side kick. Spin side kick is very, a spin side kick is very easy. We're going to turn over our back shoulder all the way that we can see ourselves. We're going to throw a kick and we're going to land backwards started again. We're going to turn and look. You're going to throw your side kick out. You're going to land and back where it started. It looks just like this. Kia. Land and reset. 
Green belt, you're working on your front leg hook kick. Your front leg hook kick is just like a front leg side kick, has all the same parts. You're going to turn your back foot, you're going to chamber your knee, you're going to kick straight out, you're going to snap it to your butt, and back where it started. You're hitting with the back edge of the heel. Looks like this, turn back foot, chamber your knee, kick out, snap to your butt, and land forward. Looks just like this, green belts. Kia. Blue belts, lastly, we're going to work on our tornado kick. Tornado kick, all you're going to do is you're going to turn over your back shoulder. You're going to pick this knee up, you're going to jump, and kick, and reset. You're going to turn the look, pick the knee up, jump, kick, and reset. Looks just like this. Kia. Again, blue belts, all the way down to yellow belts. Take your time. We're not worried about power, not worried about speed, worried about technique. Okay? Now Sensei CJ is going to come up and give you guys today's match at. I can not over there, buddy. What's that? You're like, that oxygen is over there. Yeah, thanks. All right, guys. So, a little thing about today, follow through. All right, guys, follow through. Um, anything we do in life, we want to follow through with it. Whether it be school, sports, karate, piano, whatever the thing is, follow through with it. Okay? Uh, say you're playing a sport and you don't really like it and you're not having a fun season. Every time you play, it's rainy and cold and you're not having fun anymore. Guess what? Stick through it. It'll make you stronger and you'll learn some stuff. Yes, I was one of those kids. I was soccer and I didn't like it. I tried every way to get out of it. I forgot my, um, what do you call those? Shin guards at home. Um, obviously my parents would go back and get them and I would, I would go play. Um, but I, I thank them now for making me follow through with that and not giving up on my team. Also. Same thing with karate. Karate is not always fun. Sometimes you're going to have problems. Sometimes you're going to hit an obstacle. This is a big obstacle right now. We're virtually teaching you guys. Stick with it. Eventually, when we reopen, we'll get right back into it and we'll pick up right where we left off, obviously with a few new protocols in place. Um, when you guys do board breaking, same thing, follow through. That's a very good one and 90% of the students can relate to this if you've done board breaking. When you hit the board, and you don't go through, it doesn't break. Guess what hurts? Your hand or your foot. But if you go right through, you're gonna break it in half like a hot knife going right through butter. So make sure you guys follow through. Board breaking is one of the most metaphorically thing you can think of, of breaking through barriers. So make sure you guys follow through with everything you do in life and you will succeed, I promise. All right, so, as long as you try hard. So, we're gonna hit break falling. Break falling is not only for the kids, but for the parents as well. I know a lot of the parents watch out from there, watch us in here, and they laugh at us when we practice falling. It is a key part of martial art training. It's a key part of life. Everyone falls. I know all the parents on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram have seen the um, hilarious, sometimes hurtful videos of parents or adults slipping down ice of a, you know, a driveway. There's one where a guy's in slippers and coffee. He walks outside, slips. Slippers go all the way down. He goes all the way down. Cup lands over there. He's fine because it's funny. But um, so we're all gonna practice that today. First step for my yellow belts. All right. I think I'm still on cam, right? Yeah. All right. We're gonna center our butt. All right. Nice easy one here. Center our butt. Tuck our feet in tight. Hands and feet in close. All we're gonna do first is rock back. Key thing that you want to do is when you rock back, keep your neck in. If your neck's back. Your head's gonna bounce off the ground like a watermelon. Have you ever seen a watermelon bounce? Me neither. Next step, you're gonna slap out from your fingertips all the way down to your stinky armpit. Smack out. Keeping your head in. Smack out. Third step, your feet are gonna straight up to the ceiling. Not over behind your head. You don't want your energy to go backwards. You wanna disperse your energy up. So you're gonna tuck it into the last second. Pop up. Straight up. Boom. Una mas. Boom. My young orange belt. You're gonna do the same thing. You guys have done this before. Okay, am I still in? Yeah, I'm still in there. Um, same thing, but now you're gonna be on your feet like you're catching for baseball. So you're gonna be here, you're gonna rock back, straight up. Woo. Rock back, straight up. You guys have done that before, pretty easy. Next one, my green and blue belts. We're gonna work on falling forward, okay? When you fall forward, 
You don't want your belly to hit, you don't want your face to hit, so you're going to have to look straight up like when you're doing push-ups. Next thing you want to do is squeeze your core. Remember all those crunches that we made you guys do over the past X amount of classes in the beginning of them? This is going to work it right here. And those planks. So you got to keep your belly tight, head up. Now don't put your elbows out here because what's going to hit first when I'm flat like this? My face, my chest. So we bring our elbows in here. I'm going to keep my body weight forward and fall. Boom. If you're new, keep your butt back. Sometimes falling from up here for a kid is sometimes scary. Just keep your butt back and just fall. Right here. Once you get that and you're comfortable with the ground coming straight at your face very quickly, I want you to come all the way up. Hips out. Elbows in, look up. Boom. Reset. Hips out, butt back, elbows in, fall. Head up. Make sure you don't look down because if you get scared and you stutter and your hand goes out, boom, you're going to have a final looking basement guy come back. Unless, you know, you need improvement. So, up, elbows in, down, boom, and back. That is all the class for today, guys. Make sure you guys practice that and make sure you practice something soft like a pillow or a mattress. If you're on a mattress, make sure you're not falling off the side of the mattress. Make sure you're in the center of the mattress. Um, and have some fun. Good luck, guys.